In the currency quadrant today, we've been watching a sell-off in the December Euro dollar futures, which erased three straight sessions of gains. If you take away the over 1% drop on October 29th, this, that was when the Eurozone inflation numbers came out a lot hotter than expected. This is the worst price drop for the Euro currency on a percentage basis since mid-June. The Euro reached its lowest price level since July 21st of 2020 on the lows getting below 115 at 114.89, down just short of 1%, finishing the day toward those lows down about nine tenths of 1% as the, as the settlement today and finishing below 115. On the upside, 116.02 and a half was only one tick above yesterday's settlement. So a pretty weak day for the Euro currency. German inflation, which is the EU's largest economy. Germany has the, not only the largest manufacturing economy in the EU, EU, but the largest single economy on the whole, had their inflation figures come out, the final October reading as expected. Year over year came out at up 4.5%. That was along with the last reading and month over month came in at up five tenths of 1% again, matching that last reading. So no surprise there. And then you add in the surprising strength of the US CPI. This was the largest CPI increase in the US since 1991 core inflation rate year over year at up 4.6% and a headline year over year rate of up 6.2%. This is versus ex expectations of 4.3 and 5.8 respectively. Month over month numbers also beat expectations coming out of 0.6 and 0.9 versus expectations of up 0.4 and up 0.6. So all of that drove rates higher on the short end in the U.S., drove the overall yields higher, which drove the dollar higher. This was also a big headwind for the euro, which finished the day down below 115, just short of minus 1% on a percentage basis.